Hello, today I'd like to walk you through a new feature that we're introducing to JD Edwards Enterprise One called the OneView Watchlist. Now what these are is an extension of our current OneView Foundation offering and they'll be delivered with tools released 9.1.3. What Watchlist will provide is an ability to optimize end user productivity, especially for manual tasks that a user may be performing through the day. They'll allow your users to define a list of data points that they can periodically monitor and also have a nice visual representation to help call out items that may be over acceptable thresholds. As you see through this presentation, Watchlist will design to be simple. Simple to define, simple to access, and simple to act upon. Now before we go into a detailed description of Watchlist, let's take a look at how users may be accessing information in JD Edwards today. Now this user has a number of favorites that they perform through the day and a number of different tasks they do. So for example, I as a user may go into my order application and I want to be able to go in here and keep an eye on the number of backordered sales lines that happen in the system. I may be performing this throughout the day multiple times. I can go in there, I can select on a query, it brings my information up, and if I want total exposure, I can go ahead and do a go to end and it shows me how many orders have been backordered. So you can see in this case I've got 18 orders that are backordered. Now the idea about watch lists is trying to automate all those manual clicks and steps that I just went through into a single, single activity. So let's take a look at how this would work in a watch list world. As you can see, I've got a new watch list dropdown that's been enabled on the top of the application. So watch list has been enabled for this system by an administrator. As I click on it, you'll see a lot of activity. I've got a number of watch lists. Some of them are my personalized watch lists. Some of them are shared across roles of users. You can see that there's information in here about multiple watch lists. For example, this first one is back ordered sales. It's got 18 lines. You can see that within about a second, I was able to get the same information through this simple drop down that it took me several manual clicks to do earlier. Not only that, you can see there's some color coding here. I've set up some criteria to say if it's over over 15, make it bold and red so that it stands out and it's something that I should act upon. You can see that there's some information here that tells me how fresh my data is. As I hover over it, it tells me how long ago it was run. If I want the data to be refreshed, I can just simply hit this interactive icon here. It runs the application and the query behind the scenes to give me that. Once again, it's got to be easy to access the information here also. So if I want to be able to act upon this, it's as simple as a click. When I clicked on that, it took me to the application that defined the watch list and ran the query that the watch list was defined over. So I can come in here and see all my backordered sales items. Now let's take a look at how a user would set up their watch list. Let's take a case where I may be in this application and I want to keep an eye, eye on orders that are past their delivery time frame. So I've got a query set up for that. As you can see when I open this up, it's a simple query that says its promised delivery date was less than today and nothing's been shipped. You can also see that I now have a new icon up here. Now this was enabled by an administrator. So an administrator came in and said these applications and these users have the ability to define watch lists. When I click on that, it opens up my simple watch list definition page. I can start typing in information like past delivery as a description. I can select whatever uh, saved query I have in order to drive the watch list information. And this one I'm going to go ahead and pick my orders past delivery. And then I can set up my, my warning threshold. Say if it's over 15 records that come back, let's bold it. And if it's over 30, let's put it in red. The other option I have here is to, as a user to say how fresh, how often do I want this watch list to run and what's the maximum number of records I want returned. It's important to note that an administrator can set hard ceilings and floors in this setting right here in order to optimize productivity and performance. That was it. That's how simple it is to set up a watch list. All I simply have to do now is save it. It takes a name. It goes ahead and processes it behind the scenes. And then you see when I open up the watch list, I now have a new watch list that just ran, took about a second. It showed me I have 32 orders that are past my threshold. It shows up in red and now I can act upon that. So I hope through this brief definition, you can get an understanding of what one, what one view watch lists are, how they can really optimize your user productivity and how easily they can be uh, personalized by end users. We're really excited about this feature and we hope you find a lot of use out of it. Thanks for your present, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.